guys today was a good day I was scheduled to max out on my squat my bench and my deadlift I had just finished nine weeks of programming set up by Brandon Campbell I'm gonna leave this information link down below he is going to make this entire program available to everyone for free on his website very very soon but I've seen a lot of success with it both now and when I ran it a few years ago so I was super excited for today because as you guys have seen I've actually hit max lifts over the last few weeks when I worked up to an RPE of about nine for doubles, but I wanted to see what I could really do. So I ran it, you know, just like a powerlifting meet. I started with my squats, I was warming up, things were feeling a little bit tight, so I wasn't overly confident going into this. I did my my set with 365, and it felt okay. You know, my hips were a little bit tight, and I just, I never feel that good when I start out with squats. So then I hit 385. My ultimate goal was to get up to 405, four plates. It's just one of those numbers that you just look forward to. And back in the day, you know, I, I could triple this, but I'm old and washed up, so I wanted to see what would happen if I tried to get 405 once again. We got it up. It wasn't pretty. I lost tightness in the bottom of the hole because I lost confidence. I went down and I doubted myself, which is the number one thing that you can't do in lifting, especially if you want to hit these max numbers. So I actually have more in the tank if I can get past the mental barriers. But that was my goal. I'm very, very pleased with that considering this time last year, 315 was my max lift. So I was like, okay, let's go into bench. And I had one very, very specific number in my mind for bench. When you start lifting, the first ever milestone on bench is 135. The next milestone, 225. And then when you get into like college, or you're starting to get into your mid 20s, or some of you guys even younger, that 315, that number, it just sticks out. And I have been going for that number for so long. I have never hit it. I've never even really gotten close in my meet. I hit 298. That was the most I have ever bench pressed. But a few weeks ago, I did hit 305. So I was thinking maybe 315 was in the realm of possibility. So check this out. This is a very monumental day. Because even if I don't hit it, this is my first time ever putting 315 on the bar. This is like, it's like your first time right here, guys. I mean, I don't know for certain because I'm still a virgin. It's pretty. Dang, it looks good. It looks good, that's for sure. And there we have it, lifetime milestone, 315. Put it in the bag, can't take it away. Even if I can never bench another day in my life, we have got 315. It took me 29 years, but we got there. And actually I hit it again, just for good measure to prove to myself that I could do it. It was not a competition pause, it was a touch and go, but hey, I am so happy with that. My bench progress has been crazy. After the shoulder injury, I could really only bench about 135. So to be at 315 right now, I never thought that I would touch these weights ever again. I mean, this program for me has just, it's done wonders, man. It, it actually makes me feel like I lift again. That, guys, I, I'll just go on a long rant about that. So stoked about 315. Big thank you to Rocky for that nice handoff as well, which definitely helped things out. I was feeling pretty beat up after that, after the squats and the bench, but I knew I wanted to hit something relatively heavy on deadlift. This is the, the lift that's feeling the worst. My all-time max is about 515 or 518, I believe, in my meet. So I was really just aiming for 455 today. After 405, I could tell I was not going to be able to get into the 495. Obviously, five plates would have been nice, but here's 455 for you guys. I felt miserable. 
We got it up. I probably have some more in the tank, but right now the way that I'm feeling, I just don't want to risk it because I'm going to take a deal a week and I'm going to hop back on this program with these new maxes, push myself a little bit harder because the issue when you get hurt is that you build these mental barriers. So you not only have to build up your physical strength, you have to build up your mental strength. So even now, a lot of times I'm still lifting like, like a pussy because I still have that in the back of my mind. Like, oh no, my back hurts. My shoulder hurts. I can't push it that hard. When if you want to get stronger and you want to meet certain criteria or you want to get to certain weights, you have to. And I'm still kind of got those blocks, but that's one of the things that I need to improve on. So knowing my true one rep max numbers now, that's going to help in my next training cycle. I'm going to hop back on Brandon's system and we're going to see how heavy we can get our lifts. I'm I'm being cautious, guys. I never want to go back to the point that I was at a few years ago. I was miserable, but overall, man, hitting some big lifts like that, that's pretty awesome. I know it doesn't look like much, but they're very, very good. For both, it's about 200 calories. We use the Joseph's Pitas. These are great. This right here is the only reason you should ever go to Walmart. I don't know why, that's the only store they sell them. We use some cheese, some pasta sauce, or some pizza sauce, I should say, and then some lunch meat, which is getting thrown away. What is going on, guys? Let me show you what we got. We got our white chocolate raspberry protein bars. I picked up two boxes of these. They are fantastic. You guys know I got the fudge brownie. I will go through all of these protein bars in a month. It's kind of crazy. We got some select protein, of course. We got our creatine. Oh my, did I get four boxes of bars? You guys can probably tell what my favorite products are. And then we got some protein for oats as well as a lot of samples here. I think we're good on high volume and alphamine. And all right, you guys already know what's coming up next. You're gonna take your coffee. You're gonna mix in one scoop of the Select Cafe. Makes it taste amazing. Get some protein and some added caffeine in there. Guys, this will make your workouts so amazing. And I am not saying I'm the best breakfast sandwich maker of all time, but yes, that is exactly what I'm saying. We've got some Gouda cheese, some Canadian bacon, one egg. It's just gonna be magical. And you guys already know, we saved dessert for last. I'm going back to the white chocolate raspberry pea science select protein bar. This thing is so good. I don't even know if you guys can tell. I mean, it just tears apart. It's soft, the macros are solid on it. And I really think the best part about this bar is that you can save 15% using Travis at pscience.com. If you guys try it out, please let me know what you think of it. I'm convinced that everyone should be eating these bars. Okay, so I wanted to go over the formula that I believe helped me hit a 315 pound bench press. And this is going to apply to anyone regardless of what that milestone weight is, whether it be 135, 225, 275, 305, 350, 5 million, it doesn't matter. These are the three things I believe will have the biggest impact on your bench press. The number one being the most important and that is programming. Your programming needs to be specific to your goals. Going into the gym trying to add five pounds every single week is only going to work for so long. Your progress will not be linear, which is why I really liked this program that Brandon put out. It has varying intensities, varying RPEs and strategies, and it really worked well for me. My body responded extremely well to that, but it might not for you. So find the program that works for you, and you'll have to just run it for 10 weeks, figure out if that's what works, and if not, move on to something else. But number one is programming. If you're running something bodybuilding specific that might put on size but not strength, then it's not going to get you where you want to go. Number two is going to be eating in a surplus, putting on weight. If you want to stay shredded year round, your bench press is not going to increase as fast as you may want it to. When I went from 170 to 190, I definitely felt a big improvement on my pressing strength. In my opinion, out of all the three lifts, deadlifts, bench, and squat, the bench press is most responsive to putting on weight. I don't know that for a fact, but it's just what I have found from my experience. So don't 
be afraid to get rid of your abs for a little bit. I promise you they can come back because what I have found from my experience is once you've built up a certain strength level, it's easier to maintain it than it is to build it up to a certain level without putting on any body weight. That's a very, very slow process. So I'd encourage you guys to go pick up some chocolate chip cookies and eat your faces off for maybe three or four months. I've not counted macros for about six months now and it's done a lot of good for my body. I'm bigger, I'm stronger, and I'm feeling great. Number three, prevent injuries. Every time you get hurt, it's going to be a setback. You're going to have to start all over. And I experienced that for the last two years with the back injury and the shoulder injury. So take care of your body. The longer you can be in the gym, the more progress that you are going to see. I can assure you of that. Every injury you have is going to be a setback, unfortunately. So be smart, train smart, train hard. And if something doesn't feel right, don't just push on. Don't think you're too tough to stop. Maybe just listen to your body. At least that is what I have found. So that has been my experience. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. Hopefully this can help some of you guys out. Thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. That really would help me out a lot. And I look forward to talking to you guys next time.